Hello my loves, we are downstairs in my book nook and I'm doing a little impromptu unboxing of an oracle deck I just ordered called the Soul Mirror Oracle. See yourself, um, it is created by Sunshine Connolly with artwork by Anna Noves. I purchased this because I am using it in a shadow work mentorship package right now. It's uh, an upcoming one that I'm I'm uh, very much looking forward to putting together an outline for. Um, so, and it is published by Blue Angel. So I'm, you know, I typically enjoy their production value. So I'm excited about that. And here's what the back of the deck says. Healing through divine reflection. Self-reflection is an active, ongoing, revealing and illuminating process. Within its light, you are freed into the understanding that we are all divine, all creators, all connected. Gaze into this oracle to transform fear, amplify love, and welcome potent, tangible change for yourself and all the intertwining threads and consciousness of your world. Know and see yourself through the mirror of your soul. Your evolving destiny awaits. Embark on a spiritual odyssey of untangling the past, navigating shadows, bending energy, and exquisite realization. 42 cards and 120 page full cover guide col cover full color guidebook. So again, here's the box. Um, and same, you know, very similar sizing, like here's medicine heart. So similar size there, which yes, I'm going to be talking about the medicine heart Oracle on the channel soon. So the only problem with impromptu is that I don't know if I have anything to open this. Don't want to break a nail cause I don't want my nail tech to be mad at me. There we go. Okay. Nope, maybe I lied. Nope, we got it, guys. We got it. We got it. Okay. So. Oh, the box is matte. And there's like, it's not quite gilded. There's a little gilding here and there and in the, the little Blue Angel publishing thing on the side there. And then, oh, the inside is the night sky. Here is the book, which is also matte. Oh, different shape, as I was told. But you know, um, it's it's a different thing like when you see it because we're so used to this size from Blue Angel and it is a different size here for the deck itself. Nice like, um, like a matte gilded edging, would we say? Well, it's kind of embossed, right? The cardstock itself, though, is matte. Um, you can see the gilded overspray on the edging a little bit there. I don't know if that will bother anyone, but oh, very pretty. So you know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of, I don't know if any of you have heard of Papaya Art. Um, when I was managing Made on Earth, we used to carry a lot of their notebooks and um, accessories, and they had some really beautiful indie artwork of a style that was like super popular at see back when was I working back at uh, Made on Earth, like 2016, 2017. And this artwork, and I'm not throwing shade by saying this, but it reminds me of that. That artwork always made me smile and I enjoyed Papaya Arts offering. So this is nice, this is nice. So we'll look at the cards and then I'll go over the guidebook with you guys. So cardstock is actually pretty kind of thick. That's what she said. Uh, yeah, cardstock is kind of thick. Um, let's see, compared to, yeah, I feel like it's a little thicker than Medicine Heart. And this is the backing in case I forgot to show that to you. It kind of like matches my new apartment pretty well, huh guys? So I love this. And what um, I was speaking with my um, client about and very, very dear friend, um, is that you have like two sides to the reflection, right? So alignment, dishonest or truthful, and you get a chance to really sit with that messaging for what applies for you, right? And the nice thing about that, much like Barbieri's Unicorns Oracle, is it gives you a chance to challenge your perspective and your perception. So I'm very intrigued to see how this works. Number one, especially for shadow work, which is primarily why I purchased it. But also much like Unicorns Oracle, I would like to use this as a clarifier to tarot. And I'm intrigued to see how it works for daily draws. I'm, I'm very, very intrigued to see that. So yeah, the artwork is really beautiful. 
it's kind of doing what I wanted that tarot deck by that author I like. What is her name? Erin Morgenstern. It's kind of doing what I wanted the or Erin Morgenstern tarot deck to do. I love this one. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, look at this one, guys. Oh, I am pleasantly surprised by this deck. I'm very, very, very intrigued to work with her. Oh, this one's lovely. This one makes me want to have short bangs again. Darn it. Every time I grow my bangs out, I get to this point and then I see a card or something on Instagram with those gorgeous blunt bangs and I have to do it again. That's the problem with being able to cut your own hair. I swear. These are really... These are really lovely. They're soft and quiet. You know what? It's similar in feel to the Lantern Oracle in that at least my first impression is like, we can take our time and go slow if you want, or we can have a big realization together if you would like to. Where are you at today? Like, I always feel like the Lantern Oracle is checking in with me before we go deep. And I do feel like this deck, at least at first flip through, has that feeling like, we can go deep or we can keep it where you need it to be, right? Um, there's something really lovely about that in a deck. You know, I don't always want the Chicoli Tarot, even though sometimes I do want the Chicoli Tarot. But it's nice to have within your arsenal this option of going at your own pace, right? And having a deck that is a sister and a friend along for that ride. So... Oh, look at this one. This one goes with my eyeshadow today. Even though my eyeshadow today is all in honor of the Pocket Edition Kali Oracle. <laughs> do you guys do your makeup based upon the deck that you're currently lusting and in a passionate affair with? Oh my god, I we have to do a video about that. We have to. All right, I need to add that to the list. We need We need a fall chatty deck lust video. I love that one. Um... And then here is the reflection card, kind of similar to the description on the back. Oh, relationships with distant or connected as the reflection. See, I think that there's a lot, especially if you're a journaler, I think you might really enjoy this because I think it's going to give you a lot of jumping off points. I love, love, love. I do apologize, guys. I am getting over a cold. Um, I'm still pretty congested so I do apologize for that oh my god look at the bangs again well if you guys know if I have blunt bangs it's the soul mirrors soul mirror oracle's fault um I digress where was I journaling I brought it back do you see that I brought it back I brought it back around the the really nice thing with journaling um excuse me with oh my god This is going on the Instagram post. I already know that. <laughs> Guys. Wow. Wow. Okay, I have no words. Teaching, withheld, and giving. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I am kind of falling in love with this deck, guys. <gasps> I Hold on. I can't talk for a second. I just need a sec. Okay, so that's the deck. This is my favorite card, no surprise, because I have to say, okay, I'm gonna come back to journaling, I promise, but brief side note, my son Vincent has made me love this burnt orange tone um, because his favorite color is like bright, intense orange. If you think of my aesthetic, then think of Vincent's aesthetic as the exact opposite of mine, right? He loves orange. And what I found is a really nice like meeting place for us in home decor is like a la a black lacquer with this burnt orange, almost sepia tone. Um, we both get color tonality that we love, but I'm not overwhelmed with fluorescent tones and he isn't dealing with just black and jewel tones, which is typically what I prefer. And this card reminds me of that. So yes, this is my favorite image so far. Journaling, then we're gonna talk about this. Um, so the nice thing about a deck like this, and you don't have to purchase this deck to have this experience. You know, if you, if you have any, uh, Oracle decks are really great for this as is tarot. Um, but like a tarot deck, like Mary L or yes, tarot of vampires, um, 
Thoth tarot, the Hermetic tarot, I actually like to journal with a lot. Any deck like that, oracle deck wise, you could work with the Kali Oracle, the Isis Oracle, um, the Unicorns Oracle by Barbieri, anything like that, that really gets you to take a moment and through the artwork or the feel of the imagery, dive into different perspectives and also like looking at yourself in a new way. Any kind of deck like that is really great for journaling. And at least from first glance, this does look like it is a deck like that. Um, are you ready to remember who you are, who we are? Our world is a soul mirror. I really like that. Guys, I'm really into this. So it's a about 120 page book and it looks like you get a really nice uh, brief paragraph kind of intro description, few paragraphs description, um, excuse me, few paragraphs further fleshing out the, the basic description and then a um, reflection, which again, you can use as journal prompts. So if you're looking to step into journaling and have the experience you hear a lot of us talking about in this community, um, a guidebook like this with questions can really help you with journal prompts. Dream Keepers Tarot is another wonderful option for that too, if you're looking for a tarot deck like that. Um, let's see the intro. The intro is about 23 pages and she talks about working with the deck and then there's a few, oh, she talks about journaling and she talks about going inwards, untying, evolving, and mirroring. So this, yeah, okay, guys, I'm excited for this one. Like I'm really excited. I'm really excited to work with this. I'm so glad that I was um, prompted to do this by a mentorship package. There's nothing like a mentorship package to get me to purchase a deck that I might sit on for a while. Um, yeah, mentoring packages are where it's at for that for me. As a teacher, it's wonderful to have an excuse to buy a deck, right? It's like, oh, I gotta buy that deck and I have to spend a lot of time with it. But this one I'm, in, I'm very excited to engage in a, a love affair with. So I like a nice love affair with a deck. But anyhow, I will be posting more um, content of the imagery on my Instagram. I am trying to be a little more active and intimate in that environment for those of you who wanna follow me there. Um, and I have a lot more content coming now that I'm over this cold. So be looking for more videos this week, but I hope you are doing well out there in the world. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I am sending you as always much love and many blessings from my book nook to yours. I will see you in the next video. Take care.